so I put up the ceiling fan motor with the wood blaze but they're not turning either I was following Dan Rohar's way of making the blades for the ceiling fan so next thing I'm gonna do these are 24 inches I'm gonna make them a little longer it barely turns I'm gonna make them like five feet instead of four feet using Mudman's uh, way of carving the blades so they're more aerodynamic more airfoil shape instead of these track type blades it wouldn't have make any difference in the startup I think uh, with this type of blades it would have started just the same it's just when it gets up to speed the lift type blades would turn much better so I'm gonna make the five feet ones instead of the four feet that I have on now because the four feet obviously are not long enough to make a difference so before I actually carve the Mudman's wood blade I use this scrap piece of four foot 2x4 and try to mark down the dimensions. I got them from Muddy's videos. Somehow this part I got wrong is slightly too wide. And this is the leading edge. It sort of tapers down and then goes to the end here. All this part of wood I would have to cut out and then this part of wood also I have to cut out and then make this like what he calls the venturi or the airfoil shape so this is the leading edge about an eighth of an inch thick And that's the back side. This is the trailing edge. This is a trailing edge. I said leading before trailing edge. This is the leading. And there's a lot of wood to cut out from here. So it's a lot of work. He makes it look easy. I got a couple of splinters already. So I'll start out with one five foot blade. And if that doesn't work, I'll make another one and then I make like a like a X, like a four bladed five foot wood carved blades and see how that goes I can always use that on the PMA too in case I want to try out the wood blades okay I have to go to Home Depot and pick up some 2x4s tomorrow the good thing with this is they're very cheap if you make a mistake, make another one.